Jim here in Ashland. Today I'm riding a trail called No Candies. So how do we get up here? The no Candies Trail is only two and a half miles long, but getting there is going to take you 10 miles. You can come down from the top of Mount Ashland, but we're going to try it from Lithia Park today. From Ashland Plaza, you'll head along the park on Windbird Way, which then hits Granite Street or turns into Granite Street, continues along the park, passes the swimming hole and the dam, you will then continue straight ahead towards the ferry ponds, as they're called, and park to the left. A lot of dirt parking there. Oh my. Busy day at the swimming hole. Right. Summertime, summertime, summer, summer, summertime. And from the parking lot, it is still about 100 yards up to the unofficial beginning of this trail. All right, we'll start here at the gate on the 2060. The first five miles is uphill on this gravel service road. You'll see the Reeder Reservoir off to your left, possibly. You will pass Horn Gap Road. Do not take that to the left, continue to the right. And you will top off here at Hit Road to your right. So that's the first five miles of uphill on the fire road and uh, only three more short miles of fire road uphill until you reach the beginning of the No Candies Trail here at this clearing to the right. Is this trail worth the eight mile climb? Well, that's the magic question, isn't it? The first half mile of No Candies is a lot of uphill work, maybe a little more than that. And then after that, it's, uh, uh, it's fun flowy downhill stuff. Well, here we are at the official end of No Candies Trail. It's a it's a working man or a working woman's trail. It's a you're uh, pedaling up and down. There's a lot of up and down. So the little rocks. There's there's a little skinny in some spots. It feels more like a hiking trail than a mountain bike trail. But uh, big payoff at the end. Nice and smooth and swoopy on the way out. Uh, it's a it's a it's a mixed bag. Time out. False alarm. That's not the end of the trail. In the middle of No Candies, there's two clearings where you come out and you feel like, oh, I'm done. This is the road that goes no. They, you go across the clearing, trail continues, ends here, right here, uh, two and a half miles or so. Um, well, boy, no candies is, is uh, not for babies. It's uh, no candies are allowed up here. I believe the uh, phrase no candy asses was left off the sign. Uh, you got to work your way up and down, up and down. It's a, it's a little rocky, a little, um, a little skinny. It's good. It feels like a hiker's trail sometimes, like maybe, maybe I'm not I'm supposed to be riding my bike on here. But then, it's a good payoff at the end. You swoop around, uh, smooth, ends fun. Uh, it's fantastic. It's worth the effort. And you get to see a bunch of burned out trees thanks to a little runaway fire we had last year. No big deal. Uh, uh, but it's cool looking. Dead everything, burnt out, you know, Halloween trees and the uh, hand of Satan coming up from the ground. It's really cool. So come up and check out all that stuff. It's completely worth it. <laughs> 